Today we're going to cover at mentions in the chat room application. So it'll just be the ability to type at and then the user inside of your message and it'll, you know, do whatever it needs to with the username. So in order to do this, uh, we just need to change a couple different files. I'm actually going to close all of this because it's all spoilers. Uh, but the basic idea is we need to figure out where uh, our at mention is going to happen. I'm going to clear the console. So in our app and our views, our messages, and in our message partial, oops, this is sort of where the uh, men mention is going to start, right? This is where the logic in my brain at least starts. So you come into the message partial and in the uh, markdown for the message body, this is where uh, you create the message. The message is then, I, I mean, technically you create it in the form, but this is where my brain goes to look at it. But uh, it goes into the messages controller and then in the messages uh, create action, we create the at message, we then try to build it. If it works, we continue on with our lives. If it doesn't work, we render the errors. So what I'd like to do is before we render the errors, but after we initialize the body, uh, I want to do something like at message dot body equals parse underscore at underscore mentions for the at message dot body. So we do this method. What I'd like to do then is uh, figure out where I want to put this. We could put it in the controller or we could create a helper for it. And since I'm bringing this up, you already know we're going to create a helper for it. So we'll come into the app helpers folder and the messages helper. And then in the messages helper, we can create a short little method. We'll start by saying def parse at uh, mentions is what I called it, I think. And then we'll take in the message underscore body. And then in this method, we need to say message underscore body dot G sub. And that if GitHub Copilot would stop trying to help. We need to do a uh, regular expression, which will start with the at because it's an at mention. We then need to uh, do some parentheses. And in here, we're going to check for one or more uh, letters. So we're going to say A through Z lowercase. We have a capital A through Z that we could have. And then we also have 0 through 9. Uh, and then a username can also have an underscore. So it'll search for either an A through a Z, a capital A through a Z, uh, zero through nine, or an underscore, and then it'll just do an arbitrary amount of those, assuming I have that right. You can then do a match, and then we can say user equals user.find underscore by, because if we just use find, we might not get a user, and then we'll get a null error. So we can say username which is going to be regular expression dot last underscore match of one. And then we can do a if user else and so if we don't find a user, we just want to return this match because in that case, um, it's just some random garbage, but we do want to keep it in the message. So we're going to return it. Yeah. If we do find a user, though, we want to return a link to the match, which will be the user underscore path for the user. So the match is going to be the text in the link, and the user path is going to be the actual place it takes you to. So we can save this. We can then come over here. I'll refresh the page. I'll actually start the server, and then I'll refresh the page. We'll go ahead and we'll refresh it, and then we'll say at Dean and nothing should happen. And you can see here undefined method parse at mentions for the messages controller. Well, we have a helper here and we're trying to use it in the messages controller, which isn't a view, which means we do need to include it. So we'll say include messages helper, the top of our controller file. We can come over here, refresh, and my computer will get confused as it seems to do sometimes. 
Okay, there we go. Let's try it again. Hey, at Dean, where are you? And now we'll get a undefined method parse at mentions for the messages controller. So I probably did something wrong here. We have the parse at mentions and in here we have the parse at <laughs> mentions. So the same thing applies. You do need to include it, but you also need to spell things right. At Dean, learn to spell nerd. So we'll send that and then we'll finally get the error I actually wanted, which is the undefined method link to. So to fix this, we need to sort of understand that link to can't be used outside of uh, our views. So in our view, we can just say link to blah, 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 and that'll work. Here though, we need to zoom in so you can actually read what I'm typing. We need to get the view context, which is gonna be our action view. So we can say view context dot link to, which will just create a link for us. Uh, but it's not to the right place. So then we need to construct it just like we normally would with some text. I'll say the text can be, I don't know, hi Dean. And then we need a uh, destination for it. For this, we can say user underscore path for the current user. And then we need to close our link to parentheses. And now you can see we get a href where the location is user slash one, which is my ID and the text is hi Dean. So to fix all of this, we can just say view underscore context in our messages helper. I'm sure there's a, a better way to do all of this and someone's gonna yell at me, but um, we're not here to learn the best way to do things. We're just here to learn a way to do things. So I'm gonna say at Dean, are you there? And we should finally get a at Dean where we have the, uh, the link in here. So let's try at John to see if we can go to John's profile. So that'll send us to the conversation with John, which is pretty neat. But what I'd like to try and do is maybe try to color this with the user's role. Okay, so in order to get the color to display, what we can do is uh, the easiest way and the ugliest way, but it's the way we're gonna do it, is we can actually give this a uh, important. So if we come into the assets, style sheets, and the chat room dot CSS, I think, we look for the user roles, we can just say, Im oops, important, because the styling for the A tag is overriding the, uh, the link here. And now if we do this, we can see that this right here has the color with the important on it. And that is causing us to see the user role. So if I do a at Dean, we get the different colored at Dean, which matches what my role is. And we can click through these and go to the chats with people. Uh, but if I just type my username, it doesn't do anything. So the only time this works is if you do the at as you would expect. But that's gonna do it for this tutorial. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully now you can at mention a whole bunch of people and I will see you in the next video.